today it is because dissection is a well-established name. I don't know how to express myself and describe uh, the feelings uh, we all had in, you know, in the band before the first gig and, you know, also personally, because this was the first concert in many, many years and it was a big step for us to, you know, return to the scene and to perform again, you know. For me it was just, you know, one and a half month af after my release from prison. So, uh, I mean, I was uh, in the middle of just, uh, you know, being totally shocked by not waking up in a prison cell every day. So, and uh, on top of that, entering a, a stage with all these people screaming and, you know, finally, you know, being able to play with the band again. So, I think... It was all a big, uh, I think it was just all a big uh, victory. And I think if I would have died uh, that night, I would die happy. And we booked, uh, booked the venue and booked the concert and uh, suddenly it was sold out and they moved it to a bigger place. And uh, some weeks before the gig, that was sold out too, so they had to move it to an even bigger venue. So, in the end, it re it was like uh, people coming from uh, all all the corners of the world. Actually, you know, we had people coming from from the USA. We had people coming from South America, from all over Europe. It was like uh, totally a surreal experience, but. Uh, it proved also that dissection was remembered and that uh, we actually had a lot of support from uh, from the from the fans of the band and that dissection was never forgotten no matter what i don't think that we had many uh, people uh, that that thought this was possible to do but we didn't give a fuck about that this was what we wanted to do anyway. So yes, let's do it. And uh, the whole rebirth of dissection was like a big march of victory. We were just, uh, you know, going out there as a band, walking into, you know, some strange almost like wa walking into a totally new territory and I think we pulled it off and but for us this was just just uh, you know big uh, overwhelming experience you know in the first song we went up on stage and we were totally hyped and the audience was screaming and and then, when you were about to hit the first chord, there was no sound from the guitars, you know? What the fuck is this? It was actually uh, that the guitar tech had forgotten to put, off, put on the uh, standby, on the, on the amplifier. Ah, it was fantastic. It was, it was the best audience we had, you know, so far, you know, in our history as a band at that point, you know? It's, uh, I will always remember this concert. You know, by heart, it's, uh, I can say that uh, this is uh, one of the highlights, you know, you know, with the atmosphere. Lots of magic in the air, lots of tension and, you know, some electric feeling that you could, you know, touch, you know, in the air. During the whole tour, I was always hoping that it would never end because it was such a great experience to be out again and waking up in a tour bus and uh, you know having the band back together and i think uh, at a time that the tour actually stopped we were very very sad to come home to sweden because we were thinking what the fuck are we gonna do now you know what the fuck is this you know <laughs> we want to go on when is the next gig so uh, but i think it was a, a good good to come home and take a break after the tour to digest the whole experience and to also get settled in your own uh, 
so-called everyday life and get some bits and pieces together, you know, because I was just released after the tour, you know, and and also, uh, for example, Seth has moved up from Italy, and uh, I think it was a you know, you know, a big change for him too, you know, and. Uh, we just uh, started to to practice the the new songs for for the new album and enter the studio two months later. I think uh, with a new album coming out, the circle is closed and broken. That's uh, you know what we are standing before right now. You know, closing the circle and breaking it. So it's going to be very interesting. This is the first full-length album in 11 years, as you say, and uh, yeah, it's it's like we're about to uh, enter a new phase of the band. You know, the rebirth of dissection was like a victorious return and remembering the old uh, uh, and playing the old material and uh, meeting the the fans and after all these years and to you know you know actually you know proving to uh, to the world that dissection is back i realized that uh, i'm just a medium for what's coming out you know and i think it's uh, i mean it, at the same time as we are trying to use dissection as a tool of ex of expressing ourselves I think we are also ourselves being used as a tool by what we express and uh, in a way we are just uh, invoking the powers of chaos and see what comes out of it, you know. I think chaos is the primeval source that, every, uh, that everything uh, ever came out of, you know, but in a way words can only, uh, you know, limit such a concept. I, I, th I, th I think what we aim at is to release chaos, to express chaos and to manifest chaos where there is order, you know, and to disrupt the order in any way, act as the opponent of the majority. And I think uh, what we want in the end is to become one with this source.